This is Computer Aided Drug Design, and today we're going to learn about Protein Data Bank and uh, how to basically get the protein sequence and nucleotide sequence and the structures of uh, neuromenidase, which is a strain of H1N1 influenza virus. There are different uh, type of neuromenidase, uh, basically nine types. So from N1 to N9, and the most known one uh, previously in previous days was the N1 and N2 only, but nowadays a new kind of strain uh, appeared, which is the N7, uh, H7, sorry, N9. Um, it, it is a pandemic now in China. So um, according to the study. Neuromenidase facilitates progenesis virus release and spread of the infection of two neighboring cells by removing silica acid, which infects cell surface and newly formed virons. Understanding neuromenidase structure will help designing drug for inhibition of neuromenidase function to limit the progression of influenza virus infection in the host. So next we're going to talk about how to get the protein structure from uh, of neuromenidase from the protein data bank homepage. So I'm going to show you how we just go to the protein data bank homepage. We click here in the search uh, lane. We search for 3BEQ. We enter. Then we're going to get this. The 3BEQ is a neuromenidase strain. So to get a protein sequence, we just click on display files. We click on faster sequence, the first one that appears there. Then we're going to get the protein sequence. We have two chains, alpha and beta chain. Uh, they're basically identical chains. Now next we need to get the nucleotide sequence. So we just copy the protein sequence here. Nucleotide sequence. We go to the same page. We get the first protein chain. We copy it. We go search reverse translation tool. So we basically chose this one. We go and choose the protein sequence uh, back translation because it's a reverse translation from protein to nucleotide. We paste it here. We remove the space as we can see here because if we have any spaces the translation process won't work. And then we click on submit. It's going to take a little time, but then you're going to get this, which is the nucleotide sequence. We just copy and paste it in our slide here. Next, we need to get the secondary structure. We just go back to the protein data bank page. We click on sequence. When we click on sequence, we're going to get it right here. This is the, the secondary structure which is the DSSP which is this one right here. You can see it. Next we need to get the tertiary structure. So we just copy the secondary structure here. The tertiary structure we go again to the home page and we click on 3DV. When we click on here, we're going to get this structure, as we can see. That's the 3D structure. And uh, at the end, abstract of the journal that we chose from. Um, so in this research, the scientists found out that in the neuromenidase, the cavities adjacent to substrate binding site and calcium sites will be able to contribute to in a better neuromenidase inhibition in the future. 
this is our reference and now I would like to summarize my slides here to show you basically the first we have the neuraminidase, we have the nucleotide sequence we have the protein sequence we have the secondary structure and the tertiary structure and that's all from us thank you very much and enjoy bye